Hello everyone, my name is Joel and this is Tutorials by Joel on artbyjoel.org and this is a very loosely produced tutorial because it is a very important day. Today is awareness for women's rights, women's liberation, and it is the Women's March on Washington because it is Trump season. Donald Trump has become president and we as a nation globally, internationally, have come together uh, because it is uh, a day to bring awareness to what is happening with this world. And as a Canadian, um, hey, don't worry, <laughs> we're right there with you. We're here to support you and uh, I know today, I remember I was, I was serving today at work and there were so many people, not women, but people that were um, ready to march they were ready to march uh, for women today. And it was quite a very overwhelming, beautiful thing. Uh, it's not a beautiful thing. It's not a negative thing. It's, it's a thing that is uh, very important. And I think it's good to bring awareness to everybody who you can bring awareness to. Hey, honey. Um, today, we're going to do an art tutorial. And it is going to be of a athlete who's a woman, done by dots. I think it's really cool. I've done this once with another athlete uh, painting, and this is going to be a woman soccer player. Uh, just because I think women are just amazing and powerful, and showing a woman athlete today um, in a painting is really inspiring, and uh, so here we go. Again, as a Canadian, like we're, we all understand, it doesn't matter where we're from, we understand that this is such a horrible thing um, for this person. People knew that Donald Trump was running for president. I thought, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying inside. That's a funny joke. No, it actually happened. And you know what? It happened. Sorry to say. Um, hi, honey. Hello. Women are very empowered. I know. Our dog, Una. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? She is very empowered. She is very strong. Um, she's also really hungry. Go eat your dinner. Go. I don't have no treats for you. I have no treats for you. I'm done. All done. No treats. Um, so to don't start with me. Do that every day. They're such powerful women. Um, they're both completely different in a lot of ways, but they still show how they can take care of a family, um, and that can uh, ha they can have a voice, and they can be so different in a way where they attack life in such a different way but they are equally powerful and they are they show love at all times and they are amazing people and amazing role models for not just younger women uh but for younger people such as myself uh looking up to them because they my old my sister is seven years older so she was quite a role model um and my mother was uh, such a role model for me in terms of love and patience and understanding and tolerance and I, I, I've, I'm very lucky to have come from uh, a, such a tolerant family and such a loving family because not a lot of people have that in their lives and I know that my uh, mother and my sister they make sure that is involved in their lives at all times. So today, so there is a lot of um, people who came out, a lot of amazing strong women that came out to the March on Washington. Like, stand by, actress and activist America Ferreira. I love her. She's great. Oh, America, how poetic. America on America. Uh, she says, it's been a um, heart, heart-rending time to be both a woman 
and an immigrant in this country. Our dignity and character, our rights, have all been under attack. Oof. And a platform of hate and division assumed power yesterday. Woo! She said. Uh, but the president is not America. America. Good one, Ferreira. This cabinet is not America. Congress is not America. We are America, and we are here to stay. America Ferreira! Love ya. Um, and also there was, um, let's see who else marched on Washington. And this was global. This was like so many countries. Uh, by the way, if, you didn't, if you're just tuning in, this is Joel from Toronto, Ontario. And I will say that uh, an amazing feminist that I know and love and care deeply about is a Toronto drag queen and stand-up comedian, Vicky Licks. She's right there. That's her uh, portrait I did of her about how she was in the past thinking that femininity was about being beautiful and thin and tiny and then he took that power back and said no it's about being who you want to be and Vicky Licks is a Toronto drag queen that is hysterical and does parody after parody and stand up routines and does you know sets and all, and is so true to herself and is so different he is a muscle man he's a brick house I'm happy with that. And he's, he, you know, Vicky Licks is such a drag queen that is for the people and for the future and so progressive that you don't have to be this really dainty, small, feminine girl to be a monster of power. And that's what Vicky Licks is. Vicky Licks is a feminine, gorgeous, lovely lady who has, she's beat, beat. She's got the hair done. It's done. Everything is done. Perfect. Top notch. But they be muscle for days. <laughs> oh, Madonna. Hi. Okay, so Madonna was a surprise guest. Uh, she says, Madonna now singing her 1994 hit, Human Nature. She dedicates it to Donald Trump. Oh my god. Um, she gets the crowd to sing along with her. I'm not your bitch. That's Mad oh, Madonna. That's so her. Don't hang your shit on me. <laughs> Donald Trump suck a dick. Oh, I tell ya. She knows what to say. Madonna welcomes the revolution of love. Another surprise celebrity guest. Singer Madonna just came out to speak. Oof. I mean, I tell you. Are you ready to shake up the world? Welcome to the revolution of love, to the rebellion, to our refusal as women to accept this new age of, of tyranny where not just women are endangered, but all marginalized people, says Madonna. It took this horrific moment of darkness to wake us the fuck up. Oh, so good. I got goosebumps. She declares, oh, sorry. Um, it seems as though we had all slipped into a false sense of comfort, that justice would prevail, that good will win in the end. Well, good did not win this election, but good will win in the end. Oh, Madonna. Today marks the beginning of our story. The revolution starts here. The fight for the right to be free, to be who we are, to be equal. Let's march together through this darkness with each step. Know that we are not afraid, that we are not alone, that we will not back down. Oh, it's really good. To, <laughs> sorry, to our Oh, Joel, stop. To our uh, de um, detractors, 
sorry, Madonna, to our detractors who insist that this march will never add up to anything. Fuck you. So good. She declares, Yes, I am angry. Yes, I have thought a lot about blowing up the White House. But that won't change anything. Adds Madonna. She then bursts into her hit Express Yourself. Oh my god, can you imagine? <gasps> she bursts into Express Yourself. Yes! I'm not a huge Madonna fan, but... Hey, add a girl. So, uh, we just showed you a painting that was a strong, feminine, and, uh unstoppable athlete playing soccer um, through dots and uh, if you learned anything from this tutorial that's great um, I really wanted to show this tutorial because it was a painting that I did a while ago as a commission and I thought it was very fitting to do this painting today on such an amazing but dark day I, I'm, I call it amazing just because I, I've never seen so many People come together uh, and protest something that is very serious. And again, I'm not I'm not American, but this is so serious. And uh, there's a lot of people. I'm one of them that said, "Hey, you know what? This is this is good for America because it kind of weeds out who's listening and who's in the clouds." <laughs> Um, and those people in the clouds, we're going to bring them down uh, through Trump's in office. No, no. Like, there's so many other ways that you can bring people down out of a uh, false cloud um, without having a monster in office. Follow artbyjoel.org. Um, Art by Joel is on Instagram. I am the person who I'm very proud to be today because of the women in my life.